There you are, Vestige. Come to the harborage. We must speak. Good God, you are safe. Good fortune did not abandon us entirely. Despite many days of meditating and scrying, Sai Sahan's whereabouts still elude me. The projection that you witnessed in the Foundry of Woe showed him to be in great peril. If we are to find him, I will need your help, Vestige. Though Sai remains hidden from my sight, Lyris brings news that an agent of the enemy lurks in Davin's watch. Fear is on the lips of the people. Darkness walks among them. Even a blind man can sense it. It is the hand of Menemarko. If it is truly an agent of Menemarko's worm cult, it may provide us with a clue that will hasten our search. Seek this agent, but tread carefully. The worm cult is a cult of necromancy, and the undead are fearsome opponents. Venture to Davin's watch. Speak to Fedwira Loren at the market, or Okia the beggar. Lyris first heard murmurs of trouble lurking in the shadows from them. Locate this agent of evil. Return with any personal effects they carry with them. I wasn't going to ask you for coin. I'm no beggar. I prefer to sleep out here where it's warm. Come to think of it, there was some out-of-towner mucking about in the abandoned stable last night. I didn't pry. None of my business. Also, he was armed. I'm no fool. Nothing else to tell, I'm afraid. It all happened rather quickly. Since the war began, the market has never been busier. Let me think. Ah, yes. Imperial fellow. Tall, brusque, rather boorish. He pushed me while I was haggling at the market. Scurried off toward the east end of town when I tried to have words with him. Typical. He was heading towards the stables. Truth be told, I put him out of my mind until just this minute. I don't even know if I'd recognize him if I saw him again.
You'll never leave this place alive! Why have you contacted me? This is Abner Tharn. The Master and I are very busy. This had better be important. Wait a moment. I don't know your face. Identify yourself immediately. Yes, your report, you insipid twit. What, did you contact me by accident? How dare you speak to me in such a... Wait. You're not one of ours, are you? Color me intrigued. You speak to Abner Tharn, Overlord of Nibane and Chancellor of the Elder Council. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you contact me? Fascinating. Are you merely a blundering local, I wonder, or something more? Are you indeed? I didn't think that Redguard has been had a single friend left. Not in this world, at any rate. Let me give you some free advice. Forget about Sai Sahan. Even if I told you where he was, attempting a rescue would be suicidal. Of course I do. But do you really think I'd tell you and risk incurring Menemarco's wrath? I think not. Ah, the owner of this place returns. And he doesn't look pleased. Farewell. You, get away from that. Let's <laughs> go. 
You've returned. What have you found? Abnathan shows his face again. I get the sense that he might have a larger part to play in the coming events, but for good or ill, I cannot say. Leave the orb with me. I shall be able to use it to locate Sai Sahan. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. I heard you and the Prophet talking about Abner Tharn. Didn't the Prophet tell you the story of the Five Companions? I don't know where to start. There's so much to tell. We were chosen by Emperor Varen to join him on a quest to recover a lost artifact called the Amulet of Kings. The Five included Varen, myself, a red guard named Sai Sahan, Abner Tharn, and the traitor Manamarco. You only know him as the man who killed you and stole your soul. But back then, he was Emperor Varen's most trusted advisor. It was Menemarco who convinced Varen to search for the Amulet of Kings. Varen wasn't a true dragonborn emperor. He didn't share Alessia's bloodline. Menemarco said the amulet could change all that. He said he could use it to perform a ritual that would turn Varen into a true dragonborn. It took us more than two years, but we finally recovered the amulet and returned to Cyrodiil to perform the ritual. Menemarco set us up. The ritual caused a violent explosion of magical energy. We lost Varen. Saisahan and I were declared outlaws. Manamarco convinced the Elder Council to recognize Abner Tharn's daughter Clivia as Empress Regent, but Manamarco was the true power behind the throne. Saisahan and I went into hiding. There was a bounty on our heads. Abner Tharn is Grand Chancellor of the Elder Council and chief advisor to his daughter, the Empress Regent. He is also Manimarco's toady. Tharn's first loyalty is to his family and the Empire, and he's a ruthless bastard when it comes to defending them. The Worm Cult obviously doesn't share those loyalties. Tharn would never trust them, but he's too much of a coward to betray them. Maybe. But what could we offer him? He's already got more gold than the gods themselves. I know it's a lot to take in. We'll talk more later. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on the Prophet. Hopefully that orb will help him find out where Sai Sahan is being held. Once we know that, we can plan our next move. <laughs>